Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old Drugalia Lost. Today, 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 to talk about the unit in the part two summon banner, go over her, um, continue to give some thoughts about her, whether or not you should summon for her, stuff like that, you know. Lock to talk about kind of what uses I could see her in, stuff like that. You know the drill, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Wait one moment. What the? We're going to talk about this here new unit, and then I'll talk about my thoughts about her, how you could kind of play her, her use, stuff like that. So if you like the end of liking this video, remember to leave a like. If you want some more Dragalia stuff, always subscribe to me. I've now started doing three videos, so now it's just going to be more than just Dragalia and Pokemon, which is all it, this channel was for uh, two weeks or so, give or take. Anyway, let's get into this. So... Here's the new unit. Oops, I hit my mic. It's Grace. Grief is my punishment for the crimes I committed with the Syndicate. Okay. A widow in constant warning for her deceased husband who hopes to join him upon by making her life taken. Wait, what? A widow in constant mourning for her deceased husband who hopes to join him by having her life taken by his murderer. To her ongoing grief is love, so her love endures. She will never change out of her mourning dress. Okay, so this is a mourning dress. Grace, not to um, go over someone who's obviously grieving in some way. Um, this stupid dog is barking. One moment. Like I was saying, not to affect the grieving process, but this is a hell of a dress to wear at a wake. I've been to wakes. No one dresses like this at a wake. Unless your husband really enjoyed all this here that you were pet that you were having. In which case you just wanted to do respect to him, which I can respect. I'm just saying, this is the weirdest morning clothes I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's get back into the actual unit. Uh, Sorrow's Wreck Requiem. If the user's HP is below 40% of max HP when using this skill, increase the entire team's defense by 30% for 15 seconds. If the user's HP is above or equal to 40% of max HP, reduce their HP to 30% or max HP to grant the entire team a life shield that nullifies damage relative to the amount of HP lost by the user when using the skill. The shield can stack with ordinary shields. Earnest Prayer. One moment, I need to sneeze now. Man, I swear I'm not usually this out of it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, earnest prayer. Increase the entire team's defense by 100% for 5 seconds. Okay. Co-op ability, 4 strikes 20%. Increase 4 strike damage by 20%. Benefits the whole team. Shadow HP below 40% equals a shield... Uh... Is that six? If a team member is attuned to shadow, grant them a one-use shield that nullifies damage less than 50% of their maximum HP when their HP drops to 40%. This does not stack with any other shields. Benefits the whole team. Uh, hmm. Okay. So this won't stack with this here, because this says specifically it has to be a reg ordinary shield. And this is an irregular shield. So does that mean when you drop, when you use this, you won't get this? Hmm. Abilities, Mournful Heart 2, grant- There's a- there's this uh, this is the second Mournful Heart? Grants the user unique 4 strike and increases 4 strike damage by 30%. The 4 strike damage dispels 1 buff from 1 enemy and restores 10% of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. This recover caps at 5% to their maximum HP. Blindness resistant, 100%. Reduce susceptibility to blindness by 100%. And healing double buff when granting an HP regen buff for 20 seconds each time a defense- uh, every, t every time a defense up buff is received. Alright, so that's the kind of unit. They said they wanted to make a very a healer that didn't really heal, and this is a healer that doesn't really heal. She gives shields and increases um, defense up of stuff. So, before we get into that, let me check. No? We have to stop the syndicate a specific worm print. Uh, one moment. We have to stop no. the syndicate before we have they to stop the syndicate. I agree. 
Here it is. Here was the print I was looking for. It was Odd Sparrows. It heal it's a healing double buff, so every time a defense thing is uh, applied, you get HP regen buff for 20 seconds. And then Strength double buff, which is increased strength by 8% for 15 seconds each time a defense up uh, buff is received. So that will also help because a lot of her personal healing comes from her 4 strikes, so you want to deal more damage with that and stuff like that. That was the print I was looking for. Um... But yeah, so because she's like this, you have to actually use pretty different moves. I wonder if you would use something like Chocolatiers with her, just so you can have immediate access, or maybe it doesn't matter. Basically for Earnest Prayer, because I would imagine with 100% defense up, there's a lot of ways you could just kind of like cheese the opening blast for a lot of moves. I mean, people already cheese it, which is, um, which is, it's very unfortunate that I think that she's Shadow, because Shadow is maybe one of the most... Everyone can agree at this point, Shadow is one of the most weirdly balanced um, teams in the entire game. So it makes all their team content really weird. Like, obviously, I think that she's good, because that ability to dispel is going to be great for uh, Extreme Kai. Even though current Extreme Kai is just filled with people using four Gal Alexes and about one person actually knows how to use the skills of Gal Alex and the other, the other three are just trying to very dumbly use DPS until they're dead. Um, so she would fill a very similar role that Cleo does, which is that um, you want to force strike constantly to dispel the shield, and then you also want to use your defense up boost right before the big attack while it's switching into it. And some of the thing I'm mentioning also is for people who, because there's a good amount of people, there's actually a far amount of more people who have not done any of the hard stuff, so... I have to think of them when I'm also thinking of this unit. Um, for high tier, it's kind of weird for Shadow because again, Shadow's kind of in a very weird place. Um, but for lower, she can definitely help. I think because she, she the the thing the reason I like Cleo using Cleo so much for Extreme Kai is that she has a very simple like move set, so you can just kind of hang back and you don't have to worry about DPS. All you need to worry about is the spelling when the shield is up, and. It, Casting your defense buff whenever you need to heal the party or there needs there's a giant blast coming in. Um, for the most part, you try and use your skill 1 very sparingly because if you miss a dispel, then you have to use your skill 1 to get back your dispel. But with Grace, you can just have it all the time. So she could definitely work out as a unit that's like similar to Cleo in that, in that specific fight and depending on, again, on the team comp that you're using because um, it's uh, it can vary a whole bunch. But I think it would be... I think it would be very possible to just kind of use her and not have to worry about her mana spiral. Just get her to the 40 or 49 because it costs one gold and testament to do a full 50 because the last one is an item which you don't need most of the time. Um, so yeah, I think she's good. How good, we won't know until she's actually in action because I think at this point every shadow unit that's been released is some form of crazy broken good. I don't think she power creeps Cleo. If anything, it just makes it, um, if you're bad with Cleo, timing Cleo's uh, force strike for the exact time the shield is up for uh, Extreme Kai, then she can kind of help you a little bit and be like, okay, well now you don't have to worry so much. And also there are parts of the specific Kai fight where um, if you're not, if you, it would really be helpful if you had like 100% defense up, which is actually, I think, the really cool skill about her is that now defense up by 100%, I think Lurp was telling me this before, it doesn't, it equates to maybe like, what, 33% defense reduction? It's not a much, but it's enough in some cases. And again, if you're using her with a very specific build, you're also increasing attack, you're also healing when you're using it. So it's actually, you know, very useful when you use it, of course. And the shield is also very good, I think. I'm interested to see how this goes, of course. Because now I'm wondering, with this specific shield, um, I don't know. I think shields are very weird in this game. I don't think there's been a very, like, there hasn't been any content that I can think of that requires a shield in any point of it. There's definitely points where you want your defense to be cre increased, for sure. Uh, there's some specific units that like increase everyone's defense so you can survive a, a blast for example or you use attack lowering but the actual like putting an actual shield on you always felt like I had, mm, except for Halloween Lowen. No, Halloween Lowen doesn't give you a shield. He gives you defense. I don't know. 
So and four strike, of course, twenty percent is extremely good. So even if you don't end up using her, if you put her on a team and is one of the co-op partners, and you have a heavy four strike um, enabled build of a character, then that's going to be insanely good. And it doesn't seem like it's it, that affects the whole team. So it doesn't even need to be. Um, shadow specific so if you had like hunter berserker for example who uses a lot of four strike damage you could just put her on your team and see how that goes uh and stuff like that and you can just do it with anyone that kind of uses a lot of force oh you know what oh hunter cerise she uses a lot of four strike damage ah oh, damn it i think i might have accidentally oh. so here's the part where i say should you summon for her I think she's extremely good. I like her look. I like her backstory even, even though I am kind of clowning on her clothes. Um, the only problem is that Fire Emblem's coming, so it's kind of like, um, maybe someone like me could throw some stuff at this banner because I have a good amount of worm and I already have the opening three limited characters, but if you're someone who has none of the limited characters for Fire Emblem, I would suggest holding on to everything you have for dear life. Um, she is extremely good though, so if you're someone who's like, screw you, I summon r regardless of anything, then hey, go for it. There are worse waifu units out there in the game that are still okay and are still used, and this one I feel is pretty good. Uh, just deal with the fact that she seems to be really dedicated to her dead husband, so good luck with that one. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. It was a little kind of touch and go there so if you if you ended up liking this please leave a like at this point i'm not 100 percent sure anyone's gonna like this um but hey you live and you learn i suppose uh and i'm woki and this has been my video this is a very weird way for me to end it i don't know what screw it all right goodbye everyone have a good day i need to get some damn rest i think i'm starting to get a cold and it's a bad time to be getting colds all right see you later everyone have a safe day.